On Monday night, about 500 national religious Beit Shemesh residents gathered to protest in support of a new school near their neighborhood. But this seemingly local dispute is just one example of the growing tensions between the Haredi and national religious residents of Beit Shemesh, each fighting for the future of their city. This is a fight over Beit Shemesh written large. This is not just about the building. I'm obviously leading uh, uh, first and foremost this building because I think it's a symbol of the whole fight. There's no dispute over the facts. In 2005, the Ministry of Education decided to relocate the Orot Dati Lumi Boys and Girls Schools in Beit Shemesh to adjacent new buildings. The ministry chose an empty public lot on the border between Haredi and Dati Lumi neighborhoods. Not long after the beginning of construction, Haredi residents started protesting the presence of a girls school next to their homes. But this is where the stories differ. Beit Shemesh Mayor Moshe Butbul says he reached an agreement with both groups that the new buildings will be for boys only, but parents at the school insist they know of no such agreement. Now, both sides are entrenched. This building is a girls' building by law, and so all these talks that went on in these dark rooms and promises, we know nothing about it formally. I have, and I know there are no signed letters. Over the past few weeks, the parents of the girls' school say there have been violent threats against the children. The parents are blaming the mayor for giving in to the violence and defying the Ministry of Education's instructions. They add that the mayor's current offer for the girls' school to return to the old building is no longer an option. Instead of standing strong and giving us the backup we need because the law is behind us, he is trying all sorts of negotiations to keep it quiet. He wants time. He wants to negotiate. September 1st is here. This is our building. I don't think this is a matter of concern. At the Monday night rally, 20 young Haredi men confronted the group of 500 protesters. The two sides stood yelling at each other outside the gates of the school. None of the Haredi protesters agreed to speak to us. Despite claims from both sides accusing the other of illegally breaking into the unopened school, the police say they have not seen any illegal trespassing and are investigating the violent threats. However, parents and teachers of the National Religious School say that the threats and high-tension confrontations have them fearing for the safety of their children. As of now, the girls' school is set to open on Thursday, according to the instructions of the Ministry of Education. But the tension is bound to grow between the expanding populations of Haredi and national religious residents of Beit Shemesh. The minute we're giving, in, we're giving up here, it's the next building that's going to have to make the fight. It's got to be clear. These are extreme group that, are, that don't have any boundaries to their recommendations. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.